Lexa. Um, should id Software commercialize their engine? Every time id Tech is mentioned, it is with a natural assumption of high efficiency, like in the Direct last week. I guess that's when we were talking about Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah. Would it just smoke UE5 by performing a lot better, John? No. Uh, <laughs> the, there's a gigantic difference here. And it it Tech Engine is very fast, but it's also very much designed for their specific tasks. And I think this underestimates, first of all, the amount of work necessary to support an engine across multiple studios. I mean, that is... That is so much work to build those tools and then support all the companies that are using your engine. So biting that off as Epic has done, uh, that basically requires a, an entire company unto itself just to support it and keep continue to develop it to support all types of games and gameplay design you might want to do. Make sure all the tools are as friendly as possible and usable while these studios. And I gather that id Tech's not really designed to be that way. And I don't think id wants to necessarily invest the money the time the resources effort to keep something like that running and support all these different types of games right it's fast for what they need they build it to be fast to do exactly what they want to do uh and obviously machine games has a good relationship with them and it's not like it doesn't have history with licensing on engines they used to do it all the time but i think rendering and the complexities of modern games have gone to a point where you can't really do it that way anymore. Not like it was with the old Quake Engine days. And uh, yeah, I don't think they want to become essentially a middleware provider. And I think yeah, that's, 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 that's actually a really good point, John, because there was the whole scenario, you know, if Starfield isn't running that great, why don't they just it, run it on id Tech? <laughs> and the point is that the, the id Tech engine just can't do the things that, you know. <laughs> um, Not at all. Yeah. that the Starfield game need, requires. And I think it's the same thing here. It's great at first-person shooters. But the whole point of Unreal Engine is it's designed to basically do anything. Exactly. And with that come with a certain level exactly. of um, a compromise. And- anything to add to that, Alex? Go ahead. No, I mean, I just also like in tech, uh, yeah, like the things that it can't do, Unreal does and vice versa. So it's better to, I'd say don't, I would say I'd rather another studio makes its own engine at that point rather than just, you know, using Unreal. If they want, they should make their something for their own game. It's always best. I mean, technically, the best games always tend to be the ones that have their own proprietary technology for their own game because they are building the features they only need. And it's like lean at that point. So I would almost actually prefer that. 